we're rolling. All right, caged, quick acronym for lining up fingerings into a key. Uh, there's five chords, they spell the word cage. C, A, G, however you play it, E, and D. And so what I'm going to do is play C chromatically for starters. C, if I move it up a fret, I have a problem that the open strings didn't go with me. So I'll refinger it like this. C, now becomes D flat, D, and so forth. Here's uh, A, however you play it. Looks like this. To me, it's just a four string chord. So, you want to notice A, B flat, B, C. Oh, here's C. But this is the A fingering of C. Here's the C fingering of C. C, A. I'm starting to spell the word caged. And that just refers to fingerings. So I'm putting, uh, next, next chord says uh, C, A, G. Here's G. To move it up a fret, I've got to finger it like this. And it doesn't matter if I get the whole chord. Maybe I just want to get the bottom half, the bass half, or the top half. It doesn't matter. It's just mainly, can I see this thing, even if I can't play it? So, this A flat, A. Whole step to B, half step to C. C fingering, A fingering, G fingering. Spelling cage. Next is the E fingering. Most of us know this is the old bar chord. So, where is that? Yeah, G, A, B, C. C, A, G, E. All those fingerings are in the key of C. One more to go is D. This. The bass is on the fourth string, so I've got to get it like this. It's not a bar chord. And way up the neck is C. So, I put this thing in the circle. C, A, G, E, D. Now if I change keys, I'd like to go around the circle of fourths. And the next key from C is F. Key of F. Where's my caged fingerings? Um, the lowest of the bunch is the E fingering. E, well what comes after E in that circle? D. D fingering. Then I'm back at the top, caged, C fingering. A fingering. G fingering. So to get that in all the keys is the necessary first step. Then to use these as your trigger points for the scale. So C. And once you get off the ground, all the fingers are the same. Uh, B flat is an A finger.